Hey everybody, Bohush here, the casual expert, speaking for GoToughGear.com and PhotodeoxPro.com. And in this video, we're going to take a look at the GoPro Hero 6 and um, this cool aluminum cage to keep this camera safe. So when you get the camera out of the box, it comes in this plastic frame. Here I can take the camera out and show it to you. Maybe I can, maybe I can't. There we are. There. There's the camera. So it's a black plastic frame. It's designed primarily to give you this little item on the bottom that I like to call the GoPro, which is how the GoPro mounts on all of their many, many, many accessories. Uh, you also get some additional protection. Uh, if you drop the camera, you know, the, the case will get chipped rather than the camera itself. Um, but mainly it's for the GoPro. And as you can see, we've got lots of accessories that you can mount a GoPro onto. We've got a, this guy goes on a tripod. You've got aluminum screws. We've got extender arms. So you can kind of extend where that is. Even mini extender arms that are only an inch long. So we've got all this great stuff in aluminum interfacing with this plastic frame. And that's kind of where I'm starting to think. Now the plastic is nice because it's lightweight, comes with the camera, you don't have to buy it extra. Uh, the problem is I'm afraid of this, like I'm afraid of this kind of cracking, you know, because it's plastic, you know, you're putting a lot of strain on that, uh, that GoPro right there. And uh, also you really only get limited protection from dropping the camera, you know, this is plastic, it's plastic, it's going to transmit all the force to the camera itself. I'd like something a little more studly. And that's where we have the shark cage. Now we initially created the shark cage for the GoPro Hero 3 and the Hero 4 series cameras. And now we've got it for the 5 and the 6. And what makes it special is it's all aluminum, uh, very, very solid. So if you've got the camera in there and you drop it, you're going to get very nice protection along the edges uh, to keep your camera safe. And then also we've got a lot of quarter 20 mounting points and they're on plates that you mount where you want. So this cage is configurable to how you use your camera. We've even got our own aluminum GoPro that you can put on the bottom or put on the side or put on the top. Depending on how you intend to use the camera, you can rig the shark cage to be exactly what you need it to be. So let's, uh, let's crack one open and let's see what comes in the box. Here's the GoTuff shark cage in its box. Uh, remember that it works with both the Hero 5 and Hero 6 cameras. And let's see what you get. The screwdriver is mine. You're going to need a, a fine Phillips screwdriver because you get these fine Phillips screws. You get a bag with some parts and then the shark cage itself. So let's fly the cage out, let's fly these parts out, and let's examine what they are. So in addition to the cage, you get a plate with three quarter 20 mounting holes, you get a plate with a single quarter 20 mounting hole, and you get a GoPro. And as you can see, there are little screw holes in the side, screw holes all along the shark cage, so you mount these wherever you want. You might want to suspend your camera and have the GoPro on top, you can do that. Or put it on the side like so and have it sticking out. One of the, uh, one of the reasons why people buy the session camera, the little cubic camera, is because they'd rather have it sticking out the side rather than, you know, sticking it up on top of, let's say, a helmet. So uh, with our shark cage, you can actually side mount this, like on the side of a helmet or a vehicle. Pretty cool. So here's the deal. I bet you can guess what comes next. Get out some screws and determine where you want to put these plates. So I'm going to say I want um, the three, the three quarter twenty plate along the bottom. So just line that up screw it into place. And now if you know you're going to use this setup a lot, you may want to use some Loctite to get those screws to stay in there permanently. Like so. So I've got my quarter 20s on the bottom if I want them. And keep in mind, the side has a nice opening so that if you pull the door off and you want to um, you, have to, you want to run your camera via external power or recharge the battery inside, you can do that even with the shark cage in place. So let's get that ready too that and you can just pull the door right off okay now mind you when you have the door open like this the camera is not watertight anymore so make sure you're not going into a super wet environment loosen up this screw on the side 
slip the camera into place, and this screw just pushes on a pressure pad, and it kind of snugs up against the uh, camera. You'll note there's a nice little arrow silk screen down there, so you'll never forget which way a screw tightens. And there you go. Now we've got quarter 20 on the bottom, camera's in place. We still have access to our start and stop button, access to the side if we need it. And uh, that's another important thing to think about. When you're putting these mounts in place, make sure not to cover up anything that you need to be available while you're shooting. So here's another configuration with the GoPro on the bottom. So let's uh, slip the camera into place again, thusly. And I've got all three plates installed, so I have quarter 20s all over the place. And notice I mounted it so that my main button for starting and stopping the camera is still exposed. And on the side here, the power button is exposed. So that way, just, just make sure you plan out where you put these plates before you put them into place. And then on the bottom, there's my GoPro. So let's add, um, let's add an extender arm. And I'm using one of our aluminum screws. And the multiple colors are nice just because they look cool. But also, it's great if you want to identify with a team. Uh, you can get, you can sort of mix, mix and match the colors you get. Plus, if you're working somewhere where there are a lot of GoPros in action, it's nice to be able to identify yours quickly. And I'm putting the uh, tripod adapter on the bottom. If I want to give these screws an extra twist to make sure they're on there tight, here's the Shark Bite wrench. Just give them a little twist, and we're good to go. So there you go. Ready for my shooting day. So there you go, we've got our GoPro Hero 6 in our shark cage, which gives you not only some extra protection thanks to the aluminum body, but lots of mounting possibilities uh, that you get to configure yourself. And in fact, here we'll put it on our mini tabletop tripod, and there you go, we've built a crazy erector set kind of thing out of our beautiful GoPro Hero. So if you want to learn more about the shark cage, just click on the link down below this video. You'll be taken to a catalog page with all the details. And don't forget to click right here to subscribe. You'll get more videos just like this one. My name's Bahush. Thanks for watching.